Part 3. Truth. Chapter 26. Citizens' Assembly. Sometimes in life, small changes can lead to vastly different outcomes. It usually happens inadvertently. It's nearly impossible to pay attention to it. Years ago, a drop of water from an air conditioner fell from the sky on the hat of a man below. Stopping, pulling his hat down to inspect it, he forced a nearby woman to swerve around the man on her way to the grocery store. This split-second swerve caused her to miss the last chicken on display in the store. Unlucky for her, she bought the fish instead. Her husband ate it, and it was rotten, sending him to the hospital. The two nurses on call, bonding over the unfortunate experience, opted to invite both of their friends over to a party the next week, the party that led to River and Madeira meeting for the first time. None of those present knew just what impact a small droplet would have on the rest of their lives. Sometimes a small change is by choice and the outcome is minor, like turning the hot water tap only slightly more open. Sometimes the dominoes cascade into a wholly new reality. After weeks of discussion, the city debated its own small change to raise the tax rates or not. After 385 testimonies, a statistically significant sample from the city of Gridlock, the legislative body poured over the different accounts, hearing from the citizens and experts. The adoption of citizens' assemblies was a way to ensure that the city always steered towards its common hope. The legislative decision was ready to be announced. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you to those here in person, the media, and the citizens of Gridlock watching online. To our invited experts, we thank you for your contributions. To our citizens who were randomly chosen, we thank you for your additional input. We've heard from citizens from all walks of life and across the city. The concerns and benefits to raising tax rates were broad. To quote some of these concerns, increased turnover of the cars, destroying economic value of the mid-levels, and the additional burden to update always on sale prices. The benefits included a more dynamic use of the gridlock, increased net revenue to the city, ensuring that the gridlock remained closer to its original intent. The way to leave and lowering car prices across the board due to downward price pressure. Both sides of the arguments were exhaustive. We've also heard good options and solutions towards avoiding volatility and ensuring fair access to the public car markets. The representative took a sip of water as a drop of it fell to her desk. It is thus, after consultation with the committee, that we will be putting forth a simple bill we will raise the tax rates of the public car markets by 1%. It will be signed into law a week from now, and in two months, it will be activated. Although the issue around volatility was not a part of our assembly, we do want to emphasize that these concerns are valid. The proposal of a circuit breaker to give time for everyone to respond is a valid field of research. We will continue to explore this and will fund research into the economics of such a proposal. Our full policy choice and decision can be found online. Thank you. That is all.